I'm getting a ton of messages from people who can't bind their V2 DJI goggles to their Caddx Vista video transmitter. Caddx Vista, Runcam Link, DJI Air Unit, anything but the O3 Air Unit. And here is the way you got yourself into this situation. It seemed like the right thing to do. You bought a brand new, maybe bind and fly quadcopter or a brand new Vista. And the very first thing you did was you plugged it in, you loaded up DJI Companion and you updated it to the latest firmware. And that it turns out is the reason why it won't bind to your V2 goggles. Here in DJI Assistant, if we click on the air unit, we can see that the latest firmware is 01.01.0000. And the problem with that is that that is the firmware that unlocked the ability for the Caddx Vista and all of the other air units of that generation, basically all the air units but the O3. That is the firmware that unlocked the ability to bind them with the new goggles too. But that also breaks backwards compatibility with the V2 goggles. In other words, if you have the V2 goggles and you want to use a Vista air unit, etc., you cannot update to 01.01.0000. But the good news is that as you can see here on screen, you can downgrade. So this is not one of those DJI firmwares where once you upgrade, you're locked out and you're screwed forever. If you've done this, the simple thing to do is to simply downgrade to 0608 or 0606, I think 0608 is the one that unlocked the Runcam Wasp. I don't think there's really any functional difference between them. Then you will be able to bind to your V2 goggles just like always, and that is where you will stay forever. You will not update to any more DJI firmwares after that, unless you later get the goggles too, and you want to use the Vista with them. As far as uh, rooting and everything, well, what does that do? It's fine. If you had previously rooted the video transmitter, then it is still rooted. But as with any time that you uh, flash a new DJI firmware, you will need to reinstall WTFOS. And if you don't know what the hell all that is that I'm talking about, you definitely should. Because if you have the V2 goggles and you're not rooting your goggles and your, your air units, then you are not getting the full capabilities. You really, you trust me. You want this and I'll have a video about it and I will put a card on screen for what is WTFOS and rooting and for what is butter, butter. These are the two things that if you have V2 goggles, the Vistas and everything, you have to know about them. So go watch them or if you can't see the cards, there's a link in the video description.